Barcelona on the rooftop of the SA Business School. View of Barcelona behind. Coming off the 6 1 Football Club Barcelona victory over Paris Saint Germain yesterday. A spectacular last minute goal. What I want to talk about now is why do stories work? There's been a lot of talk about stories in business, stories are about how you persuade, stories are what leaders should share. Why do stories work? And I think the key is to look at, the, there's two ideas. The first, a phrase. We don't resist change, we resist being changed. So when somebody influences us, us if we feel that they are imposing their view, imposing their will, imposing what they believe is right onto us, we resist that. But when someone welcomes us towards a change, welcomes us towards an idea, when we feel that it's our own, then we don't resist the change. And what a story is, when, when I share a story with you, a story from my life, a story from a fable, I'm not pushing change onto you. I'm, I'm sharing an experience. And you share that experience with me and if it's a good story it will lead you to a conclusion to a decision to feel that a certain value is important another thing is any use of power anytime you try and use power sh shove your ideas influence others any use of power creates three responses from the person the audience that you're interacting with people might resist comply or commit resistance resistance if I say to my daughter if she's sitting and she's got a plate of food in front of her and the broccoli is sitting on the edge of the plate the moment I say Alexandra you must eat your broccoli I have just pushed my idea down onto her how is she going to react the, the most likely thing is she was indifferent to eating the broccoli before but the moment I've made this statement it's almost pushed her into a position of resisting to eat the broccoli and the very most with a bit of power and saying if you don't finish it you won't use your iPad later I'll get her to comply but by no means will I get her to commit to decide that this is something that she wants to do so any use of power if, if you impose your will if you have this feeling in the audience that your will is being imposed you are are pushing this down upon us it creates resistance and at the very maximum comply to create commitment to speak in a way that the audience not only does what you ask but actually desire from inside to do it and to do it well and to give discretionary of what they have and give more and perhaps even do it better than you had imagined it could be done to get commitment you can't push something down. You have to share with them what it is that you're trying to create, why that's important. And I think that is only shared through a story, a story of something you've seen in the past that you really enjoyed and you loved, a story of what type of future we could grow towards if we created this type of place. I think stories, the reason they're so powerful is they're the only form of human communication that regularly leads to the audience taking this third re response to power, that of committing to the action. In many companies, you have thousands and thousands of people, and they've worked out the minimum necessary quantity of work in order to not have a visit from human resources. And all knowledge workers, everyone who works with a computer with their mind, it's very difficult to tell whether they're giving 2%, 10%, or 100% of their capacity to create, to give, to work. When you look at someone at a desk and see them hunched over a computer, reaching for the phone, you can't tell. Is this the 100% or is this person just ticking over, waiting for the end of the day to go home? The only way that you get that discretionary effort, the, and for a knowledge worker, 98% of the good work is discretionary, is at their choice. The only form of communication that regularly creates this reaction from the audience of committing is telling stories. Stories from your life, stories from Aesop's fables, stories 
from all over. In one of these videos, I'll share some of the stories that I use over the course of my teaching programs in order to create the culture, to create the environment, to create a world where courage and full forward risk taking and seeing the best in other people is valued and not taking risks and pointing out things that are wrong and negativity are seen as, as things that we do not reward and we actually be punishment. I have a set of stories that I use to help the participants in the course make a decision to commit to that attitude during the days that we're working together. Stories are powerful because instead of creating resistance or instead of only achieving comply, they actually get audiences to commit and give their discretionary act. And thank you for your shares, comments, likes. Okay, keep the comments coming in, keep the questions coming in. Your emails, your thoughts inspire me to make these videos. Have a great week. All the best from the rooftop of Barcelona.